I've been on the healing path, body, mind, spirit, after being wrecked when I was younger, um, and depressed and anxious and unwell, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. And in this video, I want to talk about 2016. It's already the middle of January 2017, but I've been getting around to making a video about 2016. So here we are, guys. It's better late than never, eh? So, looking back on the lessons I learned in 2016, one, I've basically get like being personal. I've recovered. I've recovered from basically being an insecure, um, kind of needy, bit needy, I suppose you could say, um, feeling a bit like not feeling like powerful, strong, or confident, or sure of myself as a single person outside of a relationship, like. Basically speaking, I'd get attached in a relationship and I'd jump into relationships too quickly. And in 2000, and, and I'd also be afraid to leave as well, like, afraid to be single again. So in 2017, I met my current partner from Japan. Um, and one thing I've learned is to basically be unattached about like breaking up or like being single again. So basically speaking, I'm not like clinging. I'm not in a relationship to cling or for the, for a bad reason. I'm in a relationship because I want to. Not because I can't be single. It's not because I can't be single, but it's because I want to be in a relationship. And another thing that gets me on to the next point that I learned in 2016. And that is uh, just to look after myself and not to be in places that, that for too long that don't serve me. So basically speaking, know when to say no and know when to eject something from my life or even if, even a person or a, a thing. Um, basically a person or a place. If it's not serving me, if it's bringing me down or I'm in the wrong place and it's not like bringing me joy and happiness and a sense of connection, love and warmth. If it's there for too long that way, you gotta just go and leave. And don't let fear like get in the way. So, basically speaking, one thing I've learned in 2016 is not to be attached to things. And let loose, like just let loose in the world. Like let loose, let go of the things that don't serve you. And the places, and the people. Bye bye. So everyone, you have to look after yourself. That's self-love in action. It's called knowing by self and what fits you, what works for you, and what doesn't work for you. So, I've been traveling a lot in 2016, basically looking for a home to live in. Uh, where I should live. Where should I live? Should I live in Ireland? Should I live in the La Palma in the Canary Islands? Should I live in Canada? Should I live in Thailand? So, I've been trying to figure all this stuff out. So, coming to my conclusion. <laughs> so, uh, 2016 has been a lot of change for me. Yeah, I've been in all of those countries I mentioned. I was in Ireland, La Palma, Ireland again. Then I was in... Canada for a long time more than expected, then in Thailand and then back in Canada again now. And soon enough, I, soon enough I'll be going back to Ireland and then to the Canary Islands again. So everybody, yeah, I think um, anything else to say about 2016? It's been a year of great change, I've never made so many plans everybody, anybody, everybody, everybody, anybody. I've never made so many plans. I've never broken the chain so many plans. And that's an interesting thing about life I've learned this year. We are always changing. Our plans are always changing. Our direction can change. It takes time, one step at a time, to figure things out. And from a point of business and work and career, stick with it. I've learned uh, one day at a time. Be persistent and consistent. You can't just be flaky and impersistent and expect to see good results so stick with your passion my youtube my higher self herbs i've worked hard and consistent to try and improve in any or every way possible that i can or know of and it, it pays off little by little have a good heart everyone a good intention to be of service and to help so that's all i'll say about this video it's been a hard year for me it's been challenging but i've grown up a lot and i've I've grown up a lot as a man, as a person. Health, career, relationships have all improved. So if you want any um, 
coaching anyone, everybody, with a health coaching, life coaching, or relationship coaching, please let me help you. It's truly my powerful heart's passion in 2017 to serve the world better and to serve you better. Because uh, I want us all to have a better life and to reach our highest potential and to overcome our obstacles that get in the way of us fruiting and flourishing. So, thanks for joining me in this video. Check out my links below, my own fox.org and hireselfherbs.com. Friend me on Facebook. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your positive energy. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. I'll see you again next time. Happy 2017 everyone. Congratulations for making it through 2016. And let me know what it was like for you. Below, 2016. What did you learn and what do you want in 2017, more importantly? That's my next video. Bye everyone, take care, lots of love.